Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to all of the reaction from Eintracht Frankfurt against Barca tonight, live from Germany. And what an occasion it was. What an absolutely incredible atmosphere in Frankfurt tonight. And it was a tough game. Absolutely no doubt about that tonight for Barca. I think it was a lot tougher than any of us were expecting and maybe even more tough than the players were anticipating too. We're going to be talking all about the game, which ended 1-1. And that could be a huge goal from Ferran Torres. And what a goal it was. Let's do it, because indeed Xavi lined up with a relatively similar team to what we have seen in recent times from Barca, but Araujo was forced out to that right-hand side. No Dani Alves or Dest right now available in the Europa League. Gavi came into midfield with De Jong given a bit of a rest, although he did come on in the second half, which was crucial, and Adama Traore starting in place of Ousmane Dembele on the right-hand side. And like I say... It was an incredible welcome. You know, this game coming into it, we knew the fans were going to be loud, it was going to be energetic, all of that kind of stuff. But what a phenomenal atmosphere around the stadium. Because see what you like about the Europa League, but this is what we've had every single round that we've gone into. Unbelievable feelings inside the stadium. And I think Eintracht today really fed off that crowd. We saw it against Galatasaray. It can give you the extra boost. It can get that blood pumping. And Eintracht certainly put the pressure on us. They started the game well. I think they did look the more energetic team, the more intense team, and you could probably even argue today that they wanted this more. There was though an early shot at goal and maybe a little bit of a glimpse of what was to come from Ferran Torres, their phenomenal fingertip save, denying what would have been a stunning goal from range there. Kevin Trapp just about keeping out that effort from Ferran, but Eintracht had their chances, certainly in that first half there was one there from Sao who was coming in and I thought that was a goal, certain goal there, he put that wide from point blank range, I think Kostic was causing problems on the left, I think Eintracht may have actually looked to try and target Target us down that side to sort of stretch Araujo and really put a lot of emphasis on that side, knowing that we didn't have that natural right back. Gavi made a really good interception from one of those Kostic balls into the box. And actually, Gavi, he was really putting himself about. He was involved in lots of individual battles. He was really getting at Eintracht. And I think they were struggling to stop him. I think a few times, actually, they brought him down. He was fouled. But the referee... He was a bit strange tonight, the ref. I've got to say that because I think Gavi was getting quite angry with him. I think Xavi on the sidelines, very confused at some of the decisions that the referee was making. And that's something that we will come on to. But there was a big chance for Aubameyang, who again today maybe was a little bit more on the quieter side. There was a good ball into him from Ferran, but he was denied there at the near post. But even from that, we were not awarded with a corner. We were denied that. Then we had another problem. PK was forced off there with an injury problem. Clemon Longley coming on in his place, and it has been confirmed now by the club that PK went off with a left adductor problem, and we do know that he has had some problems with his adductors over the past few weeks, so that is something there that will be a concern for Xavi, but it was 10 minutes before half-time, with a really big moment of the half happened, because Busquets apparently gave away a penalty. Referee there pointing to the spot after Ter Stegen struggled to collect the cross. But Busquets, you'll see him, he was so calm. He was actually saying to all of the Barcelona players, don't argue with the ref, don't get yourselves booked, get back, because just wait until the referee is sent to VAR. And that's what happened, because Busquets knew in his own mind that he'd made that clean tackle. You can see here, he clearly gets to the ball. It's a brilliant interception by Busquets, you've got to say that. And the penalty decision was overturned and heading into half time. We just struggled really to make any inroads. We struggled really to put pressure on Eintracht Frankfurt's defence. And it's difficult because, you know, Adama Traore in that first half completed so many dribbles. You know that he's always going to be a threat. It certainly wasn't for the want of trying. But I do think Eintracht actually always forced him to go on the outside. They didn't really feel as though Adama was that threat coming inside, that he had that option. And he was constantly asked there to just cross the ball in and we didn't really make enough from that. However, it is safe to say that the second half was blown wide open by the opening goal of the game. And I do have to say here, hold my hands up, this is a wonder strike from Knauf. 
What a volley this is here, because he brings the ball down, just about gets it out of his feet there, and he just swings his leg at it, and it's curling, it's whipping away from Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. It is an absolute stunner of a goal on the same night here, where Dimitri Payet scored a stunning volley as well. But it was a brilliant, brilliant goal that Ter Stegen couldn't have stopped. Eintracht went wild, and actually... They could have made it too. Just seconds after that goal went in, they had another chance. They were piling the pressure on Barca here, trying desperately to weather the storm. And luckily for us, it only stayed at 1-0. And that was significant because then Xavi did make the all-important double change. 60-minute mark. Dembele and Frankie Dion coming on in place there of Adama Traore and indeed Gavi. And already there was new life in this team. It was a real difference there that those two players made to the team. And there was an instant impact. Dembele there cutting inside. Something like I say we didn't really see from Adama Traore. He was able to come inside, make something happen. He slips the ball there in behind the iron track midfield. Lovely one too. It was an absolutely brilliant piece of play here between Ferran Torres and Frankie Dion who got himself forward into a good advanced area and what I love about this goal is the finish we have been waiting for that moment from Ferran whereby we needed a goal we needed that and he makes it look easy it's not an easy finish there he's got plenty of players around him he's got to beat the goalkeeper from a central position but it's a good finish low and hard from Ferran Torres and that was a perfect perfect team goal from Barca with De Jong and Dembele involved. Now, after Barca did indeed get that equalising goal, I did feel as though maybe it took a bit of the sting out of the game, that Eintracht didn't feel as confident, their fans weren't quite as boisterous, and they did indeed receive a red card with 12 minutes to go, finally, because they put a lot of bad tackles in today. This one even took Pedri's boot off. It was a second yellow there for Tuta, but we were unable to make that advantage pay. And I think at the end of the game, guys, what we've got to say here is two things. Number one, it was a really tough match, a lot tougher than a lot of us anticipated, really good atmosphere, difficult game to play in, Eintracht also, credit to them, I thought played really, really well on the night, executed their game plan very, very well, and I think number two, I will take that result, one all away from home, going into the second leg of the camp now, brilliant and important goal from Ferran Torres, I will take that here. We believe now that in the home leg, we can go there, get the win that we need, get over the line, get to the semi-finals. But I also think today, guys, it's a bit of a reality check. It's a bit of a wake-up call. We know that any game we come into, we can't just expect to win. We can't just turn up and everything's going to be falling into place, especially when you're going away in these kind of games. You've got to earn that right. You've got to arrive with the right intensity, with the right hunger to win. And I just think today, compared with what we saw from Track, compared with the kind of spirit they were showing... I think we did lack a bit. I think we did lack in that hunger, lack in that intensity, but I fully expect us come that return leg to get the job done. So please, guys, do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you make today of that performance from Barca? Do you believe that a draw is a fair result? Do you think maybe that Barca could have won the game? Do you believe that maybe Eintracht were unlucky not to win tonight? And especially there, ahead of that second leg encounter coming next Thursday. What are your feelings? Do you believe we can make it to the semi-finals? Let me know all those thoughts down below. Thank you, as always, guys, for tuning in and joining me tonight. We will take that and we move on. The unbeaten run does continue. I will see you soon. Thank you again. And as always, Vishka, help us.